are in Studio 61 this morning talking about how you can better prepare your kids for the transition from summer to school and reduce anxiety and that feeling of disruption. There's a lot to talk about. Very happy to have with me right now Rhonda Lynn Whitney, a professor and the chair of occupational therapy at Quinnipiac University and the author of two books, one about dealing with self-regulation. This one's going to come in handy for me with our kids. Also, if you have kids with sensory processing disorders, uh, these are going to be big, big helps. Thank you for joining us today. Glad to have you Thank here. Thank you. Right. All right. Uh, again, a lot to get to, so I want to sort of winnow things down by talking about something that other experts have talked about this morning with kids. It's about routine, routine, right. routine. Why don't you talk about the connection between that and helping to reduce anxiety and how we can make one really work for the other? Great. Be happy to talk about that. So. You know, we're really interested in how the environment and occupation and the person kind of come together, right? Yeah. So in this case, it's the family. And so we look at what are we asking children to do, right? Mm -hmm. We're asking a lot, and they have immature nervous systems by definition. So we need to step in and really help them be successful through routines. It's like all of us. If we know what to expect next, we're less stressed, right? Yeah. And we know that when parents are stressed, children are stressed. When children are stressed, parents are stressed, so it can really escalate. So setting up routines and practicing before you have to use it. So mm -hmm. uh, you were talking a little earlier about the bus, right? So yeah. how do you get ready for the bus? So if you want to make that um, an, um, a part of the routine, then you can practice on the bus and how we get on the bus and all about the bus, sure. right? That's why the orientations that I see a lot of school districts exactly do work. Exactly right, yeah. right. So the routines that our research has shown us are particularly problematic for families are morning routines, right, getting up mm -hmm. and getting ready, okay. mealtime routines, uh, homework routines, school routines, um, and really kind of pulling all those to get bedtime routines. Right. So how do we practice and set up some habits and routines now so that it's more successful when we add the stress sure. of new friends, buses, and so on? So let's talk about that homework routine. Then. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a big fan of setting up homework stations. This is where all my stuff is. So you get like a little plastic bin, your pencils are in there, your paper's in there. Everyone uh, pretty much has this perfect little built in in the kitchen for the poster board. It's right between mm -hmm. your refrigerator and your cabinet. Okay. It's poster board. So yep. you're, you don't want to be the dad at, you know, CVS at midnight because you got a poster due tomorrow. <laughs> uh, so anyway, you set everything up ahead of time so that you decrease the stress. So it's time yeah. to do homework. You've got a routine. You get your little homework station out. You set it up. You sit down to do right. it. You put it away. And then you move on to the next uh, task, the next occupation. Okay. And just because we're limited by time, I want to keep this next question somewhat general. Whether it's uh, homework routines or the morning routines, which are probably going to vary from family to family, is there a general idea of when you want them to start? Like how long before school starts? Yeah, I mean, I would start now. I would start even before now, right? I'm a believer in one minute chores. So, okay, it's one minute chores. We're all going to set up, you know, tomorrow's lunch. We're going to get out the packaging. We're going to practice how to open packages. One of the things that happens at schools, children try to open their packages. Packages, mm -hmm. and they don't have the motor uh, ability or the oh, cognitive cool. ability to do it. And so they have a meltdown at school, and then you, they don't eat, and they come home hangry, and that's a real problem. So morning routines can be the night before you set up what you're going to need in the morning. Yep. The morning routines, you get up, you get your clothes on, they're set out, you get your mm. shoes, they're set out. If you see a shoe somewhere else, if they're a young child like yeah. yours, oh, my God, it's gotten escaped out of jail. Let's go get it, put it back in jail. Right. And then the morning routine is to just open the fridge and get your stuff and get out the door. Okay. And the one minute routine. I like that. So one minute. One so we're not chores. overwhelming them with stuff to do. One minute chores. There you go. So between that and the workstation, we hope we've given you a little, you know, a couple of tips here to try to get your kids ready and prepared for what they're going to experience in the coming days. Thank you very much for Thank joining you. us. A pleasure to have you. You too. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's uh, talk about the weather now. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that you need to prepare for to get the kids ready to get on the school bus on these days. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing, Matt, not a lot of kids going back to school this early. Well, this is the college students. Yeah. Or, or a lot of them are in. Uh